Today I want to read you a short essay I wrote to my younger self. Fall in love with your reality and it becomes your dream. Fall in love with your dream and it becomes reality. Fall in love with what you do and who you are. There's but to fall in love and the rest falls perfectly into place. Five years ago, I was anxious, depressed, lost, and hopeless. Four years ago, I took responsibility for my thoughts. Three years ago, I dreamed of the life I would live. Two years ago, I fell in love with my life. One year ago, she fell for me. Today, I tell a story. One year from now, I build a world. Two years from now, I retire my parents. Three years from now, I give her the world. Four years from now, I design my custom home. Five years from now, I step back and reflect on it all. First I binged porn, then I switched to fitness, then I turned to self-improvement, but they're all the same. All my strivings to feel successful were the byproduct of trying to cope against an existence that was indescribably miserable in the present. So I tried and tried and tried to push away the anxiety, to escape from the fundamental dissatisfaction that was my very life. I burst out in bellowing laughter with heartfelt compassion. The only person I was fooling? Myself. There's nothing funnier than a man who thinks he has somewhere to make it to. Nothing more afraid of failure than a man who depends on his success. For what is a man's life if he trades his iron chains for a gold one? The only way to realize success is to live it out as reality. What's the bottom line of this essay that I wrote? To me, it's about presence and how easily we lose it when, whether it's through porn or fitness or self-improvement or business, career, the whole spiel. The way we cope with life is we take this fundamentally dissatisfied state with the present and we we try to delay it, we try to push it off. We think one day, once I've achieved this physique, once I've made this amount of money, once I've attained this relationship, once I've once I've made this name for myself, that that's when we'll feel what we want to feel. And whether you call it joy, freedom, purpose, meaning, passion, fulfillment, peace, inner joy, inner peace, happiness, freedom, success, liberation, salvation, freedom, doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't matter what you want to call it. Okay, at the end of the day, we're all looking for the same thing. Oh, I forgot to say love. At the end of the day, we're all looking for the same thing. And it doesn't fucking matter what label you slap on it. It's that feeling of wholeness, of being at peace, of being abundant. And you see how all of these labels I put are just more labels. They can't describe the experience. We want to feel all of those things, all of those terms that I, that I just described. But we make it into such a drag. We, we make it into such a forceful effort, you know, that we can never just really be who we are now, be present in who we are now, and just enjoy that. And this is really one of the biggest sicknesses of our society. And I would say it's been a problem through all, throughout all of human history, but now more than ever. You see how fast-paced life is nowadays, and the anxiety of, 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 I don't have my phone with me, oh, there it is. The anxiety of just scrolling through this, oh. <clears throat> so many people to answer to, so many notifications to grab your attention, so many distractions, so many pieces of, of advice. So much fucking noise. It's fucking... Drives you fucking mad. The point here is that... 
we go throughout all our lives thinking we have to exert this kind of effort, this forceful kind of effort towards achieving things and doing things. But it wasn't until I discovered a different way of living, which was geared towards more so of being rather than doing, that I discovered that I could do my tasks, but not be identified as the doer, as the person who is suffering as the person who is straining to do them. And it's a weird shift and one that I struggle to articulate in videos because it's not just a do this and that and that and do this and that and that and then you'll you'll feel it. It's a it's a shift from the in inner. And you realize that all of these tools and methods they're just tools. They're just methods. Nothing else. Meditation Fitness, business, relationships, whatever discipline, cold showers, waking up, like, we're all trying to get somewhere with these, right? But what every discipline, I think, at its deepest core, the fundamental lesson, the biggest lesson of any of the disciplines is to get you to realize that this moment is all there is. When you're lifting weights, you're lifting weights. So better go and fucking enjoy the rep and enjoy the fucking pain of that muscle burning rather than thinking about the future of in two years, what will my body look like? Because that's suffering. That is the definition of suffering. When you're not here and you're conditioned by thoughts of the past in order to, to, to strive to attain the vision of the future. I'm not saying don't, have a vision. A vision is one of the most power is the most powerful thing you can have, period. But don't so be attached to the vision that you are so identified with desiring the future that the present moment just slips right by. Because your life, all it ever your entire life is right here and now. And I almost feel like a broken record saying be present, be present, be present, because you hear that so fucking much. And I guess this is part of what I'm working on as well, is how do I articulate this in a way where it's like not cliche? Because it's talked about so much that I think, at least for me, being in this space for so long, it feels like it sounds cliche. When you say the same thing over and over and over, it loses its meaning. But if you take away one message from this video, let it be the message of the passage I wrote. You know? What is a man's life if he, if he trades iron chains for gold ones? Does it matter if, you're sh if you have gold chains if you're sh still shackled by them? So I know there wasn't much structure to this video. I just wanted to free flow on, on this and really just get something out because it's been like, it's been over two weeks since I've uploaded a video. But hopefully... There was something there that sparked, sparked in you. And I won't keep you any longer. I want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, peace out. Peace. X. I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> peace. If something hit you, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You know what to do. Other than that, let's journey on. Wishing you the best, my friend.